Toronto FC are unbeaten at home this season. They have a win and two ties from three games so far. Today, Houston Dynamo are in town, and the Texas side heads north looking for their first road win of the season. For Reggie Lamb, he has a job to do both offensively to create and also defensively to help out Richter dealing with Brad Davis. Up front, Robert Earnshaw, five goals to his credit. He's partnered by the big, burly Justin Braun. With Brad Davis on that left-hand side, Andrew Driver on that right-hand side. Both players have good jobs on their hands today up against young and experienced fullbacks. And up top, you've got the inform Will Bruin and Giles Barnes. Very, very cold today down by the lakeshore as we get things underway. Toronto FC in the red. Houston Dynamo in the win against Sporting Kansas City and then ties against LA Galaxy and FC Dallas in their previous home games this season. That's under hit, that back pass. Joe Bendick had to get there to help out Galea Gusumonde. And Houston almost gifted an opening goal inside the opening 30 seconds. Lamb inside towards Jeremy Hall. Bit of space here in the midfield for Hall. Lovely pass stroke through to Robert Earnshaw here. Robert Earnshaw! Oh! It looked as if it was curling in. Will Bruin is onside here. Barnes has made the run towards the edge of the box. It comes all the way to Ricardo Clark, who has a go from distance. Well, the Houston Dynamo lost Jeff Cameron. They were able to bring in Ricardo Clark. Not a like-for-like -like replacement, but definitely a big, big help in midfield. C provides that energy in an industry in the middle of the park for Houston. With Moffat sitting in behind. Got in the end of this one. Just dragged his shot wide. Driver does well against Logan Emery. Emery recovers and clears, but can Silva get there? He can. Nice play from Luis Silva. And now the ball through towards Justin Braun. Earnshaw making a run forward in the middle. As Houston get players back. And then Corey Ash gives it straight towards Earnshaw. Side netting. Well, it doesn't take much for Robert Earnshaw. He doesn't have a great deal on here, Justin Braun. It's a five against two, but Earnshaw just has an awareness of where the ball is going to end up. He gets in behind the back four, and when the ball comes to him, quickly on the turn, doesn't even have a look. He knows where the goal is, but he'll be frustrated with himself because he doesn't hit the target. Ephraim running at Sarkodie. They're crossing towards Earnshaw, punched away by Tally Hall. Richter's ball in towards the penalty spot here. Clark will get it away. Now it drops down for Jeremy Hall. Jeremy Hall! Jeremy Hall from well outside the penalty area gives Toronto FC the lead. Well, Luis Silva does really well here. The ball comes in low and he just dummies it. And it causes havoc. Houston just don't clear the ball. It falls to Jeremy Hall. Great little check back to set himself and create that angle for the strike. And he does really well because he drives this through traffic. He keeps it nice and low. There's a step over from Silva. Good creative play in the middle of the park there. And Jeremy Hall, tenacious in the midfield, backing things up. It comes through traffic there and just nestles into that bottom corner. The pace of the strike takes it away from Tally Hall, and Jeremy Hall gives Toronto FC the lead 1-0. This one's pushed forward by Luis Silva, and Earnshaw is fouled. The referee gives the free kick, but will there be any more punishment? Here's Drew Fisher with the red card. Jermaine Taylor with the foul on Robert Earnshaw. Great awareness from Silva. He knows that Earnshaw is there. And in a foot race, Earnshaw catches what appears to be an elbow in the face from Taylor. And Drew Fisher, no hesitation, reaches for the back pocket. The red card comes out. Catches a stray hand in the face, and off goes Taylor with a red card. OD's ball forward towards the edge of the box. Agusamande with a little head. Earnshaw! Oh, that would have been spectacular.
Great technique from Robert Earnshaw. We talked earlier about the fact that he's not really getting that many chances in these games so far in his Major League Soccer career. This is another one. This comes out of nothing. That's not really a chance. Earnshaw just creates that with his inventiveness. The overhead kick out of nothing. He has no right to score this goal, but the wee man has scored five already this season. He's on great form, full of confidence. He tries the audacious overhead kick just over the bar. Ephraim plays it back to the defender. Emery steps inside, plays it through towards Justin Braun, saved magnificently by Tally Hall. Wasn't quite as spectacular. Here's the ball played from post towards Earnshaw. Toronto almost doubling their advantage. It's an excellent ball as well from wide from Ephraim. Just brings the ball into that right foot and then whips it in behind that back four. And for Earnshaw to run onto, it just splits it in between. Earnshaw just can't quite get enough on it. Strikes the post and out for the corner. Driver with the high ball in towards Clark and flicks it on the line. Houston Dynamo had that goal through Warren Cravel in the very last seconds of stoppage time. Toronto FC throw away points late in the game yet again. Well, it's an uncharacteristic mistake from Darren O'Dea. The skipper's been rock solid all afternoon, has been all season for that matter. He'll be disappointed with that. He picks up the ball out wide, tries to play a little bit clever, gives away the corner, and from the resulting effort, headed in, no one picks up Craval. All he has to do is flick it home which he does from three yards out. Joe Bendit can't do anything in that situation. The ball's just too close to him. It is full time at BMO Field and with almost the last touch of the game, Brian Nelson's team loses the win and has to settle for the draw against Houston Dynamo.